Hey guys, Lauren Losing here for my one year surge anniversary, surgical anniversary, sleeve anniversary, whatever you want to call it, video. It has been exactly one year, 365 days, 52 weeks and one day since my vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery. I had it on August 21st, 2013 at Massachusetts General Hospital with Dr. Denise G. And let's get to the numbers. Um, my first appointment at the MGH Weight Center, I was 269 pounds, day of surgery. I was 245.5. And today, I come in at 135. So, if you guys have been following me for the last six weeks or longer, or even the last few weeks, you'll know that I haven't weighed myself for the last six weeks. Um, I was trying to focus more on fitness, um, or trying not to focus too much on the scale, but wanted to push for those last 10 pounds, and I didn't get there. I maintained. Um, I'm not being a Debbie Downer, I'm just going to say. This is, this is pretty much all I'm going to say about that. Um, I am okay with that. I honestly think that when I stopped exercising about two and a half weeks ago, I probably had lost a few pounds, and then I probably gained a few pounds back. So I am totally okay with it. Um, yeah, that's 110 pounds in a year. Um, I'm I'm very happy. It's 134 pounds lost since my first appointment at the weight center. I am not to where my end game is, but I am much further than I thought I would be at one year. I cannot believe it's been one year, guys. Um, I, I'm prob this will probably turn into a, you know, looking back slash the feels video and a looking forward video. Um, I'm not sure what I want to get into first, but I am kind of, I can feel like I'm on the verge of crying right now, so let's just get into the feels. I posted a picture today, which I talked about in my 52 week video yesterday, um, about, it was, so I posted my before picture, which was, uh, just a couple days before surgery, it was like my official before picture, um, and I posted the comparison picture was from this past weekend and it was the candid picture that I was referring to yesterday the one where I mentioned how I used to hate having well I hated having pictures taken to begin with but I hated candid pictures um, and then this one I was pretty proud to see what that candid picture was so I posted that as my comparison so um, when I posted that picture, I got really emotional <laughs> as I posted it and as I was posting the caption to go with it. I really hope my makeup doesn't start running. <laughs> um, because I just remember... It's, it's a sad feeling and a happy feeling because I'm very happy to be where I am now. But I feel very sad for the person that I used to be. And I touched on this in my... I, I think I pretty much had the same talk in my um, 100 pounds down video, which was 100 pounds is my highest. So this was 35 pounds ago. Um, I just... I was in a really rough spot back then. When I decided to have surgery, you know, when I, you know, a couple months before my first appointment at the weight center, I was going through a really hard time. Um, I lost my job. I was going through a pretty rough depression. I, um, wasn't happy in my relationship. 
I was just kind of lost. Um, I hated going out. I didn't want to be seen. Although I'm a very good actress, once I was out, you know, I acted like nothing bothered me. But I would always try to get home as soon as possible. Because that was... That was my comfort zone. I liked to be home. I liked to be sitting on the couch. Doing nothing. Nobody had to see me. Um, and it's just such a stark contrast to where I am now. I hate being home now. Not to hate. I mean, my home is great. I love my family. But I go stir crazy. I, um, I don't like to sit at home on the couch. I like to be out and doing things. Um, it's just... It's amazing. And my support system is so amazing. I feel like such a loser. Oh, but I know you guys understand. I never would have guessed when I started this that it would have gained such an amazing support system and met such an amazing group of people. I am closer to a lot of you than I see or have only met in person once, see a couple times a year, than I am to a lot of other people in my life. Um, you know, there are people that I will always be friends with, but, you know, you grow up, you, if, if you don't put in that effort and if your life's, lives aren't aligned still, it's, it's pretty easy to grow apart and to, um, you know, not be as close. So, you know, to have my life aligned with so many other amazing people is really one of the best parts of this. I'm gonna single a couple of you out. I'm sorry if I leave anyone else at, anyone out, but there are some of you that I really want to single out. First of all, my best, oh my god, I'm like, I feel like I'm giving a fucking, like, Academy Awards speech or something. I feel like Halle Berry, like, not being able to talk. I'm not comparing myself to Halle Berry, except for the fact that I'm a mess and I can't speak. Um, <laughs> I want to thank the Academy. Um, my asshole people. I hunted a bunch of you down on Facebook. Um, I was the creepy stalker person that when you posted and it said you were from Massachusetts, I was like, hey, I'm from Massachusetts too, want to get some coffee? And I'm just so glad that you didn't think I was that crazy and, um, decided to actually meet up with me and the rest of us, so, specifically, Jen RNY for me, Catherine, Glass Gastric Sleeve Diaries, Lisa Sleever, Lauren, Lovingly and Lauren, Angeline, RNY, Meg Hildreth, Gooch, Monster, oh. God, if I'm forgetting someone, I'm so sorry. Like, who else meets up with us? My brain's not working right now, but you guys mean so much to me. And, um, I know it's been a busy summer, and we haven't met up as much, but thank you guys for always being there. Um... Bobby and Katie. I have to group you guys together, obviously. Um, Bobby and I always had like an immediate connection and we get along so well and we're kind of on the same wavelength with a lot of stuff. Not just WLS related, but we both work in the mental health field, we both have similar feelings, um, along those lines, I guess. 
And then Katie is just... She's... I can't get the words out. She's so amazing. Um, she's definitely one of my biggest inspirations. And will continue to be. And um, I can't wait to see you again, Katie. Phil, oh my Philip, um, my Billiam, TJ, Tanya, Jamie, Joey, Mamma Mia, Patty, I mean like seriously like everybody, Tanya, did I, I don't know, did I say Tanya, <laughs> Jamie, Kim Jones, ESG Bulldog, I'm like I'm just listing. Like, everybody, I'm like, I, I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna leave people out, and I'm, oh. I just, just know that everyone who watches my videos, everyone who comments, likes them, talks to me on Facebook, doesn't talk to me, just everyone who supports me in any way. You really, really mean the world to me. And, um, I love you guys. Did I say less of Sarah? If I didn't say less of Sarah, what the fuck is wrong with me? I love you, girl. <laughs> and my makeup is dripping. Look at that. Oh, delicious. Okay. Okay, I think that's enough feels for now. Uh, I don't like doing that. So, let's put those away for a while. Now, I'm at 135. It's a year out. I gave myself until my birthday to get to 130. But, what am I going to do in the upcoming year? Do you like how I can just turn off my emotions? That's probably not unhealthy. I mean, excuse me, that's probably not healthy. Anywho, gone. Pussy hair, gone. Um, <laughs> some people will know what I'm referring to there. Um, in the coming year, in the coming six months, in the coming month, in the coming week, what am I focusing on? Um... I'm focusing on improving, so my health is very much improved. I didn't go over any of my uh, other stats, any of my inches lost, uh, my labs, any of that stuff, because honestly I think my labs are good. I don't think I, my labs weren't really bad beforehand. My cholesterol was like borderline, some of my LFTs were off at first, like when I was at my highest. Um, I have not had my one year follow up appointment with my surgeon or my uh, weight loss physician. That is going to be in September, so I'll do my update then. Um, as for my inches, I have not done my inches again, so um, I will report those when I do my body shot and skin flick video. So what I'm referring to now is everything else in the upcoming year. So. I want to focus on getting fit. I mentioned in my video yesterday that plastics, I plan on plastics being in my future uh, probably in the winter of 2000, like 2014 to 15. Um, I'll go, like I said, in my, in my skin flick video I will go over specifically what plastics I want to do. I will show you where. Um, but I keep like talking over myself and going on tangents. I want to focus on fitness in the coming year. Um, I'm going back to weighing myself weekly because um, 
Yeah, I think that that's better to keep me on point. I I don't regret my decision to um, not weigh myself for six weeks, but I think that for my goals coming up, I think it's better to weigh myself weekly. And I'm heading into the maintenance phase, and um, my weight center um, encourages us to weigh ourselves weekly when we're in maintenance so that it doesn't slip away from us because your weight is it's really easy to slip away from you how many times in the past have you you know ignored the scale avoided the scale you step on and you're 20 pounds heavier than you were last time so weighing myself weekly um I did not want to start weightlifting in the past six weeks um or specifically in the past few weeks because I was worried that it was going to affect the scale negatively. Now that, yes, I want the scale to go down. However, now that I'm not, like, so worried about what I'm going to weigh at that one-year mark, um, I want to get back to weightlifting. Um, so I want to get back to doing cardio three to five times a week and weightlifting two to three times a week. Um, I... I'm not going to have time to go to the gym tomorrow, but Saturday morning I have a Zoom class. Um, and so yeah, Zumba, C to 5K, I'm getting back into the C to 5K. Um, and then just my supersets weight training that I was doing before, which is low weights, high reps. Um, that's what I want to focus on. I have never had my body fat percentage checked. I would like to have it checked. I, I have a feeling that it's probably in the average range. I would like it to be in the ideal range. Um, other than that, upcoming. Um, I do feel like my eating has gotten away from me a little bit um, because I haven't been tracking. I, so, I want to get back into tracking everything I put in my mouth. Um, I want to rely less on processed food. I've been eating a lot of Quest Bars lately, like two to three a day. That's, that's excessive. Um, there was a time when I didn't eat protein bars at all, so... I think that after, I think that I'm not going to buy any new Quest Bars. I love Quest Bars. Quest Bars are great in a pinch. I don't, for me, I don't think that they should be a daily thing. I don't think that they should be, I'm saying specifically for me, I do not think that they should be an essential, integral, you know, regular part of my food plan. Um... What else? I think that's it, guys. It's almost 20 minutes long, so I gave you as much of an update as I could. You know, um, I got into the feels, so many feels. I said, what's coming up in the next year? What's coming up in the next week? Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to make a video tomorrow. Maybe. Kind of busy tomorrow. Working going out with Josh, my little setup in my car, I broke it, it wasn't the thing's fault, I broke it, whoops, uh, so I don't think I'll be able to make a video in my car, okay, Saturday or Sunday is going to be the Body Shot Skin Flick video, um, I still need to pick the giveaway winner, my giveaway for a thousand subscribers, I think I'm at like 1150-ish now, so... Gotta do my giveaway. Gotta do my nine month surge anniversary questions. So it's now my one year surge anniversary questions. Have to do the uh, biggest mistakes people make post op. Uh, if I make a video tomorrow, I should be able to do that one. Biggest mistakes people make post op. So, guys, thanks for sticking with me for a year. And, well, I started making. You know, I started making videos at my nine-week mark, but thanks for sticking with me for so long. 
as in the past 10 months and 20 minutes. Um, so, until next time.